What's going on people? It's like 6.30, it is workout day. Last workout before I do this big 10 mile race. So typically you don't feel good on your last workout going in. I also just, I'm just tired this morning. So anyway, I will see you guys at the track. Hello, hello, testing, testing, one, two, three. It is pre-race workout day. We've got five by 1K for our workout, plus four by 200 at the end. This video was sponsored by this incredible eyewear brand called Blenders. I'm gonna wear a different pair of the Blenders sunglasses for all five of my reps. So comment down below which pair you like the most and which pair you think is the sickest. These are the best eyewear in the game. So use my link down below for Blenders products. Well, yeah, that's the thing. It's like the leaves are falling, but it's so hot. Five by K. I have a 5K at rep to start my workout. Yeah, but it's threshold. Threshold's a joke. Let's go, Spence. One down. Those look great. First rep is always harder too. Getting ready for rep three. Why do you look good in all of these? <laughs> Once again, he pulls him off. How does he do it, folks? <sighs> the world may never know. Taking this lap off, huh? Oh, I like these. These are sleek hardos. Ooh, let's go. Oh, these are really nice. Oh man. These might be my favorite. You have to break the world record if you're gonna wear those. Five by K. It was a hard day, but I went fast on every rep. I think I like this pair of glasses the most. I'm gonna jog a little bit and do some 200s, and then we have a busy day, folks. All right, just finished up the workout. Heading home now for a second. Got time to shower. Quickly put some food down, maybe. Then I gotta go get Shockwave. I'll show you guys the process of my shockwave again. Later in the day, I gotta get a massage and then we're gonna catch up, talk about some things and yeah. Boy. Chilling at the crib right now with Allie. What are you up to? 
I'm editing a short, uh, I'm making a short of my mile repeats workout. I'm drinking a coffee. It's my third of the day. I've had no water and I feel great. And then she complains like two hours from now. She's like, I feel sick. And I'm like, why do you feel sick? Have you had any water today? And then she makes this face. I got this after Falmouth and we wanna start collecting these. So hopefully we can get a poster for Twin City and put it somewhere on this blank wall right here. Best game of all time, folks. Let me know if you agree or disagree. As the stack's tricky, fire. Okay, people, my phone died when I was going to get that massage work. But I did get it. I wanted to see the massage footage. But I went to Jamba Juice after. <laughs> Tasty. <laughs> oh, look at him. Eep. Look at that solid poop he's got going. Now that the workout is done. <coughs> oh. Did you see there was a fly yeah, in there? I saw there was, well, it wasn't a fly. But yes, it was. It was, it was a, a fly. That, that was not a fly. It was a bug. Yeah, it was a bug. People. That was not a fly. No, it was a bug. I swallowed a, like, a fly flew into my mouth. No, but it wasn't a fly. Okay, it was a- It was a gnat. A gnat just flew into my <laughs> mouth. I don't know why Allie won't accept that. But anyway, got the workout done, got the treatment done, going on a little family walk. Tiki masala for dinner tonight. Delicious. We had it for takeout yesterday, so I'm just having the leftovers. Yeah. All right, folks, we are fixing up a little Epsom salt bath for ourselves. I've been doing this. This is like the third time or second time I've done this, and I find it to be very helpful, uh, especially after getting a lot of massage work on a workout day. So. This is just the type of thing I am doing to try to level up and just stay healthy. I think when I was younger, I used to not do this stuff because I was lazy and I just felt like I could get away with not doing it. But now I know I need to do this stuff if I want to even have the opportunity to stay healthy. Felt really good about the workout today. I was under three minutes for all of the 1Ks and you know, they felt hard. I was reminded of how much that pace hurts. The other thing I wanted to quickly say is that I'm definitely scared of this 10 mile race. I have no clue what is going to happen and I almost feel like I should just let go of my time goals and just really focus on competing. Uh, now that like it's race week, I'm like, you know what? I should just really focus on trying to beat people and not focus as much on like trying to be hitting a specific time. Also feel free to comment down below, just any questions or anything, you know, related to running. Uh, I'll answer them in the comment section of this video. So next video is going to be the twin city, 10 mile race. We'll see you soon.